Hi friends, David here from Learn Christmas Lighting, and in this video, we're going to talk about, this might be the shortest video ever, no not really, we're going to talk about using different types of DMX devices together, and what you need to know basically to make it happen, uh, for specifically Christmas lighting. Let's dive in. So in Christmas lighting, many people are familiar with moving heads. Moving heads are great, they're an awesome way to add DMX to your show, to have DMX based things, um, and to use them. But they're not the only type of DMX device possible. And once you kind of start going down the DMX rabbit hole, you might realize that there's actually a lot of different things that you can do with DMX um, that if you're already setting it up, might be a helpful add to your show. Okay, so number one, is there's gonna be atmosphere. So or so let's say moving heads, right? Number one is moving heads. If you're new here, if you're new to the hobby, moving headlights have become increasingly popular in Christmas lighting. They're a great thing that you can add to your show. You get a great look with beams through your air, colors, patterns, etc. Most often these are beam moving heads in this hobby because we shoot them through the air without any additional atmosphere, which means they have to be really bright, really concentrated, and um, really sharp on the edge. Okay, uh, but there's a lot of other things that we can use in Christmas lighting as well. There's all these different devices, and so we're gonna kind of list them out and then discuss how DMX changes, how your setup changes when you add more of these devices. Okay, so next we have Atmos. Fear. What's atmosphere? A blurry, fuzzy word that's poorly written. Well, you know, you've got fog, okay, which can be a fog machine that shoots out fog. It could be low. It could be upshot foggers that shoot straight up. I can't spell, um, etc. Okay, so you've got fog, you've got haze which we're typically not gonna use. That's like a, a lighter, thinner particle. Typically outdoors haze doesn't go overly well um, unless you have a lot of it. Even large concerts often use foggers with fans to make kind of a haze in the air for their beams. But you've got, of course, snow machines, right? It's Christmas lighting, of course you've got snow. And snow machines are a great way to get the look of snow, to get it on command. Um, the biggest key is if you are using it below freezing often, um, use antifreeze type fluid. And yes, of course, we have that at the Lauren Christmas Lighting Store. Not everybody does, um, but we do. So you've got snow. What else? Well, there's things like cold spark machines, right? I'm going to put that on a different line. Okay, there are things like um, DMX based wash lights. Okay, so this is uh, kind of an alternative uh, to the flood lights, the pixel floods that people use that require tons and tons of power injection. If you run DMX, the bonus is that you're not worried about supplying power from your controller, just data. Power just comes from a plug, right? There's no power injection. It's easy, it's brighter, it's better. So I recommend that. Uh, what else? You know, things like some motors, people have hacked d different DMX props and stuff. You can run dimmers and LOR controllers, right? So traditional lights through those means, okay, um, can also run via DMX. Okay, this isn't an exhaustive list, but these are kind of the five most popular things that you can run via DMX. So how do any of these kind of change the way DMX works from the last video where we talked primarily about moving heads in DMX for Christmas lighting? Get ready for this drum roll, please. Not really anything changes. Sometimes if you have older fixtures or wash fixtures that are more geared uh, towards permanent install, you might have dip switches inside them to set the DMX address. Just do a, a web search. DMX dip switch calculator. There's a few good ones out there. It'll show you how to set the switches. You'll be done. Okay, or the manual for your item will show you. It's just like using an LCD to set the address. It's just with dip switches. When I was young in the industry, I'm about, you know, oh gosh, too long ago. Um, we use dip switches a lot. I've had them very memorized how to do them. Now we don't use them as much, um, but that's okay. Um, the only other thing that's gonna change is where you're running DMX wiring to. But, like we discussed before, if you're going from your rooftop from a moving head, 
to the front of your yard where there's a snow machine and it's 200 feet, nobody cares, right? Because unlike pixels, the data signal is meant to go long distances, so nothing changes. That being said, particularly with atmosphere machines, okay, you can often get wireless built in or add a wireless DMX receiver to them. Maybe put it in a waterproof box, whatever, okay? Wireless DMX works great. There's a lot of cheaper wireless options out there that run on 2.4 gigahertz, higher end stuff that'll use 900 megahertz or uh, 2.4 or 5.6 gigahertz for a little more flexibility in crowded RF environments environments excuse me but yes wireless can be used with dmx works the same way as wired it's just wireless right it's just a wireless cable but other than that it really doesn't change anything about your setup um the biggest key with dmx is it doesn't matter what order you plug the stuff in you just got to get dmx to everything um length isn't typically an issue in residential shows or even commercial um as long as you stay within the dmx spec which i think gives you 1800 feet or maybe a little bit more um, or is it 18,000? Anyways, it doesn't matter, check the spec, but, but besides that, it's really simple. Um, that's kind of why I love DMX lights, and I use a lot of them in my display themselves. So if you are looking for DMX lights, Learn Christmas Lighting by Above AVL, that's us, is your place for DMX lights. Um, we've been working with DMX lights longer than most of the vendors that are pushing them out there. Um, we have a longer reliability rating. And all of our fixtures do come with a real deal warranty where if it breaks, we don't just send you parts, we actually fix it, right? Um, and so if that sounds good to you, check out everything we've got over at Learn Christmas Lighting. Um, we've got not only our brands, but that's the cool thing is over on our web stores, we carry tons of brands from the entertainment industry. So if you're looking for a fog machine, if you're looking for a bubble machine, you know, reach out to us, check out our site because we have brands that aren't even on there. And most of the vendors in this industry, they may have one or two brands. We've got most or not all the, the stage lighting brands. So we can always look at them and go, okay, what's the best for this particular user for what they need? And we'll match it up. If that sounds good, we'll see you guys there. Thanks so much for watching. Yes, this was short, but it's simple um, because ultimately you get your device, you use it well, um, you have a great show. If this is your first show, by the way, head over to, to learnchristmaslighting.com, grab our free guide, the four things I really wish I knew before we started with Christmas lighting. It's going to save you time, save you money and frustration, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.